What is up guys? This is your man, mother fucking TLD Crab Man, and I am here with another fucking episode <laughs> of Bless Unleash. Um it's a fantastic episode. So check it out. We just got done doing the I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. The the Pagar or pa Pager Pager. Fuck it, we're gonna call him the Pager Champion. Okay. So, we just got done doing this, and uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought this was interesting. So quickly here, I'm going to go to the dungeons, and I'm going to show you what the Fire Lord ex Executioner, okay? What you can get out of the big chests uh, before you get your small ones. So if you look, you can get an asinine amount of purples, blues, and amounts of gold, okay? Um, and memory gems, and... You know, but that's where it ends is purple and there is no upgradable gear that that's just it. And then the box itself um, is about the same way. Uh, I think the heights you can get is purple as well. And um, well, the Fire Lord Executioner is just a major pain in the ass. So I wanted to see, well, what is it like farming the pager champion? Okay, so we're going to view the stats of the big box and in this same deal but it's a little different in here you can get your purple embers and everything legendary equipment upgrade stones your gems and stuff and gold as well but check this out so we just got done defeating him um you can see what weapon i'm using and i'll, I'll show you guys my attack power right now it's about five thousand and my ladies what's your attack power babe 5500 so with 5500 we were able to hit the damage gaps uh not a problem and i was using uh, uh i'm trying to upgrade crescent moon and see what i can do with it and experiment with it so right now i'm running crescent moon but um same with her uh so here's his box now i want to show you guys some this is why it's important this is why the thumbnail is what it is with the label of what it is this dude will guarantee you either a max upgraded or almost max upgraded B gear. Okay. Um, now, obviously you're not going to get the gear every time, but when you do, it's something you can throw on the market that will be worth money. Okay. Scout boots, B grade, 5.21% uh, critical hit rate. That's not a bad, and it's maxed out. It's one step from legendary. That's pretty good, especially for get beginner players who are working on their B grade sets until they get their A grade, because you know it's expensive for A grade. That's great. This is nuts. Um, this is gonna help out tremendously. Tracker boots, max stam. I mean, potion buff, not uh, right here. Critical hit damage, I'm not too fond of that. Let's see here, what else do they got? Erupting arrow reduce cooldown. Um, that's not bad. Tempest volley to 37%. Not bad. Defense. So right here. For Rangers, tracker slacks are still good. We got A grade uh, slacks, but B grade's just as good. I mean, A grade's a little better. It's the same thing with our bows. So our A grade bows are a little better than our B grade. So our A grade bows are obviously going to have higher gear score and higher defense and a little bit more attack power than what our uh, B grade bows are. But our B grade bows can still run the game with no issues. We can do all the dungeons. So this is your um, your tracker slacks, which um, are amazing. Good, good snag. Like I said, one step from legendary. You got a Mark's Tracker Headdress, Poacher's Headdress, which is great. Patrol Quiver, which is the quiver I'm still rocking. I, I, I use this Patrol Quiver. The reason being is the A-grade Quiver, again, a little more gear score and a little more defense. Um, that's it. So having this Patrol Quiver and the critical hit rate on an A-grade Patrol Quiver um, the role that you're not going to find a better role. Those A grades, I can wait until I grab them out of a dungeon. I'm not going to go buy them out of the marketplace. But what I can do is sell these guys. There's not very many quivers that are in there. 
uh, reload speed. I mean, honestly, and patrol bows. That's another big one. Bow of the Forgotten is in here, which is increased allies' critical hit rate. I know those are selling like a mother, and patrol bows are selling like a mother. These are both in here. You can get almost a legendary bow out of this chest, and he doesn't take long. He's actually a lot of fun to fight. I love fighting him. But this is the only dungeon chest that I have found that you can get legendary weapon sigils and armor legendary sigils. So you can literally farm this guy and embers of painting. These are going, these weapon sigils are going for about 20k a pop. Um, this is how I make my stars. I am not lying, ladies and gentlemen. I literally sell these weapon sigils because due to the fact that I use a B-grade bow, I no longer need these yellow weapon sigils because um, I don't have an A-grade bow. And so for me, this is just every time I get one of these, boom, 20,000, boom, 20,000 every time. And I think today alone, I made probably over 100,000 stars selling these. So uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to open it. It says you can get two to six items. Like I said, I just got some boots and a fortification stone. So increase max stamina 5.5% with the yellow and red room. It's that's not bad. And it's like I said, one step from legendary. So and this fight took us about what? Five, ten minutes. If that. Yeah. yeah so it's a slower grind unless you're running mythic gear. Then you're going to be able to come in here and wipe the floor with this guy. She's got a mythic bow. It's just a mythic zero, not mythic one. But um, it, it's literally it's not an issue. It is, it is so easy. And I just wasted a potion. Ignore that. Don't look at the wasted potion. <laughs> But, um, anyways, guys, I just, I thought this would really help. Um, if you're looking for something to do because you've done your regionals, which by the way, regionals now at the moment for the event are given a 20% chance for sealed chest keys and a 7% chance for abyssals and double, double chest drops. I've never gotten the double chest drop and I've done multiple dungeons today. I think that's broken, but, um, I just I wanted to share this knowledge with you guys so now you can see how I'm making my stars right now I'm at like what is it uh, 100 something thousand stars yeah 105 something like that um, this is how I'm getting all my gear upgraded um, I'm I'm literally a um, couple steps from having everything I want you guys can see the buffs and shit that I'm running I'm gonna be changing out that necklace possibly I don't know I, I like to experiment with builds so I'm wasting a lot of stars on a bunch of shit that doesn't matter but um yeah that's pretty much it uh if you learned something new please hit that like button it means the world to me that you guys enjoy the content I know it takes like a couple seconds and you, you know most people just kind of swipe by that like button but when you guys like I, I'm, I'm gonna be down to earth with you when you like my videos other people can see them and as of right now you guys see i endorse we in our total lockdown endorses products it's so that way we're not putting an ad in front of your face and we can still make money at your discretion and it helps us and helps whoever we're endorsing for so you still get to watch the content without it being interrupted and you gotta hit that fucking skip button i know i hate it too trust me i fucking hate it but uh this allows us to do that and um I'm not advertising anything at the moment, but <laughs> um, I just, I, it, it really means the world if you guys hit the like button and it puts my video, you know, up there so other people can see it and it can help other people. Um, but most importantly, like you guys know, I love my comments. Um, I love talking to you guys. I, I've been getting blown up with friends, friend requests and our guild is blowing up, which I am so happy to see this. Our guild roster getting full. Um, with people, uh, it, it's awesome to see the the total lockdown community getting together. I think as of right now, um, our guild is one of the very few YouTube guilds out there. Um, there's not a lot. So pretty much um, what I mean by that is if somebody decides to leave, anybody who watches the channel has the opportunity to join because they know about it. So the list will always be filled with people or getting there. And uh, soon we can start doing guild wars and shit like that. That'd be cool. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you're not a sub here, like I said, consider subscribing. I do a lot of blessed content. I cover a lot of blessed stuff as well as please check out my buddy JT or uh, Taste Smooth. He uh, runs, um, he does streams of The Last of Us 2 on Facebook. 
and he's doing really well and he's having a lot of fun with it and i enjoy watching him because he makes me laugh a lot um just watching him freak out while he's playing so go over there to the facebook page i think we're almost at 100 followers and um he streams he's got a streaming schedule and stuff like that he's still part of tld nation and uh, go check out his stuff he he does an awesome job over there and i think you guys would enjoy what he's got when he's playing because he's just freaking out the whole time but uh other than that i think that's about it Thank you guys for coming, and thank you guys. I hope this video helps you, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.